Frank Martin, aka Jason Statham, better known as the Transporter. A shady hire man, transporting things, no questions asked. Wait, 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 wait. What does this have to do with science and cells? Let me explain. When Jason Statham transports the goods in his car, it is similar to the way the amino acid transporter transports over the cell membrane into the cell. A specific amino acid transporter, called System L transporter, What are those? They transport large amino acids, such as leucine, into the cell. Ah, uh, right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Once the amino acid is in the cell, it is used for many things, such as growth, or in this case, in the proliferation of T-cells. Okay, I see. Aren't T-cells a part of the immune system in the body? Yeah. Ah, well, okay, now I remember. They are used to either kill the pathogen in the body, or help by activating the rest of the immune system. And also, the process of amino acid transportation is regulated by pathogen binding. Actually, there are two researchers at Dundee Uni that did some really interesting research in this field. Okay, what did they do? Well, let me tell you. T-cells taken from mice were tested on amino acid uptake with activated and deactivated L-system transporter. In order to get these results, some of the techniques used were... Ah, so doing some serious sciencing, unlike whatever it is that we're doing. Yeah! <laughs> By that, they figured out that naive T-cells matured into T-helper cells and cytotoxic T-cells. And how is this important? Well, let's ask Dr. Sinclair and Dr. Taylor. It's, it's very early days in this field of, I think they've coined it immunometabolism, which is not early days for Pete because he's been involved in metabolism for a long time. But immunologists haven't thought of it this way, and we're just starting to. And so it's, it's wonderful because it's opened up a whole range of, of possibilities and, and knowledge that needs to be explored. So I think probably in five years' time, we'll be chipping away at it still, <laughs> hopefully. Dr. Taylor was more interested in the implications this had in muscle mass, especially for the elderly. You're not going to make people, you know, old people really strong. But, I mean, they lose, they get quite ridiculous, it's 1% of your muscle mass a year. And if you can reduce that by half, mm -hmm. even, to maintain you know, it. or even yeah. 10, 20%, people are going to be much stronger. So now I understand why amino acid transport is so important. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, everyone watching. <laughs>